how are you so i thought i'd do this video for you about bad posture um so it was very interesting um it was very interesting teaching one-to-ones and class this morning taught my mindfulness pilates membership class on zoom everything was on zoom today zoom's brilliant and i will actually forever teach like that i do do a bit of in-person teaching as well but i do m most of my teaching on zoom which is brilliant so clients are all over the country and even as far as france today anyway um yeah, every, every, my main thing is reducing back pain. And, but the great thing is in today's um, morning teaching was that everybody is in the injury-free zone, which is pretty amazing. I mean, one of the clients I taught today, I've been teaching for over 20 years actually, and has had past prolapse discs. And because they hadn't been doing enough, last week there was a little bit of sciatica and a little bit of low back pain and ache creeping in. But after the session, they were fine. And today, everybody turned up, including that particular client, with their back in that nice, stable, what I call the injury-free zone. It's just a wonderful place to get to. What people, um, clients did have today was muscle tension, tightness and stiffness in the muscles, which obviously worked on. But the other thing, the reason I'm talking about bad posture today is some of the added extra things that I add into my classes, which makes them quite unique in mindfulness Pilates style that I teach, is the mindset, the meditation, the positive affirmations, the goal setting, and also one minute journaling. So we're going to pause at this point, right? So I did explain to my clients that we're going to sit with re really good posture and one client like likes to do um, standing desk work. So she was standing, she was actually standing with very good posture throughout. So that was great. Uh, but I did say to everyone, okay, so we're gonna journal for one minute and everyone had their pens and notepads out. Where's my notepad? There you go, everyone had their pens and notepads out. And it was like, on your, it was like on your marks, get set, go. And then we did the one minute journaling. So during this journaling, everyone's off doing their thing. But what happened was some clients started sitting with bad posture. So even though I'd cued good posture and a lovely straight back and relaxed shoulders, whilst they were gonna be doing their writing, some of them slumped into, the, do you recognize this at all? How are you sitting right now? One of them slumped into this posture. Hand on the chin, kind of slumped forward, slightly, slightly twisted over, leaning over to the side, forwards, and everything was just going out of alignment. Everything, the spine was going out of alignment, the, the shoulders are going out of alignment. Um, there's extra tension created over on this left hand side. It was a very closed negative posture and the client had got no idea, hadn't realised at all that they'd gone into this posture, that it's actually so ingrained as a bad habit that they didn't realise they were doing it. So I just said, you know, for those of you who are sitting slumped like this with a hand on the chin. And interestingly, this is a, and it can take 21 to 66 days to break a habit, apparently, research has shown. So just notice what you do when you're, you know, when you're at your, you know, computer and laptop, how you're sitting, you know, how you're sitting when you're working away on your phone, how you're sitting when you're journaling or writing or reading. And look after your back, basically. Some of my clients sometimes want to sit on the floor to write, but you have to be very, very careful with that. It's, it can be a breeding ground of terrible posture and a slumped back creating more pressure on the discs uh, and creating quite a muscle imbalance, actually. So it's, it's, it's actually really useful um, from a postural um, back neck muscle perspective. Doing this one minute writing is actually being quite educational and very helpful for my clients. Um, for me to be teaching in a slightly different setting for 60 seconds. So look after your posture, look after your back and have a think about how you sit, stand, walk, move and get out of bed in the morning every day. And definitely move regularly. Don't stay stuck in one position for too long. You know, if you can have a walking telephone meeting rather than a sat down meeting, um, you know, just move position regularly and definitely do some mindfulness Pilates stretches to help. So let's today finish with some shoulder circles just to loosen up, perhaps have a stand up, walk around, 
Let me know um, whether this video is helpful for you and how were you sitting or standing before the video and how are you sitting and standing now? Really hope this helps you today and lots of love. Oh, by the way, I also was guilty of that bad posture too, realising that that was one of my old bad habits. But we can break them, we can break them. Hope this helps and inspires you today. Bye.